Welcome, this is Fitness Anytime and Anywhere by Marzena and today I'm bringing Pilates workout for you. You can do it anywhere, in your house, outside, inside and you need very little or no equipment. If you like Pilates, if you have 30 minutes of your time to strengthen your whole body, get ready. Well, I'm gonna start in a few moments. If you are new here, please subscribe, check my playlists, and find your favorite workouts. I will be teaching this class today from my room. So as you see, you really need just a little bit of space, your exercise mat, and you can also use feed ball. This one is about one pound. I also have yoga block and feed ball. This one is something you can squeeze and I will show you how you can incorporate them to make this class better. We're gonna work the entire body and we we'll only need 30 minutes. Go ahead, begin by sitting down on the mat, slightly bend your knees, and then roll yourself slowly down. This first segment will be all about abs. Go ahead, curl your right knee in, and then circle your toes out and in. On your exhale, switch leg, curl this knee in, circle your toes out, And in. Go ahead, extend your arms over the head, and as you exhale, bring your arms down along with your body. Inhale, reach up again. Exhale, curl your right knee in. This time, move your shoulder blades off the mat, then switch leg. On your exhale, curl your knee to your chest. Then do the same with both legs, and then bring your heels down to the mat. Knees in and then keep your heels suspended. This will be a little more challenging segment. So one more time, knee in, put your leg down. Then switch leg, bring your feet down, both legs. Exhale, bring both feet down to the mat and exhale, point your toes forward about 30, 45 degrees over the mat. Do it again, knee and down. On your exhale, other knee, come back down, both knees in, bring your feet to the mat, and both knees in, point your toes forward. Bring your feet down. Do those, seg those exercises again, and by now you feel if that third position is too much, or do you feel good about doing it, right? This fourth one where we keep our feet suspended will be most challenging of all. You can always skip it or you can keep it. Keep going. Exhale, both knees in. Bring your feet down slowly and exhale. Keep your toes suspended. Bring your feet slowly down. Do it again. Make sure you are always exhaling out with movement. You are controlling tempo of this exercise. And if you need to take a break, please go ahead and do so. Point your toes forward, stabilize your core. Now go ahead, straight up your right leg, grab your leg underneath, flex and point your foot. And then go ahead, switch, and do the same here. Flex and point. Just warming up those muscles surrounding our ankles. We also wanna progress slowly. This one is double leg extension, and we're gonna keep our feet flexed. Shoulder blades are above the mat. Now you can choose to hold your leg under your knee or closer to your ankle. 
you can choose to point and flex your feet and just alternate those positions. I switch every eight. My feet are flexed for eight. And then as I reach closer to my ankle, I'm pointing my toes. Try maintain shoulder blades above the mat, chin close to chest. Do as many repetitions as you can. Control your breath. You want to inhale on one side and exhale on the other side. We will be imprinting lower back down to the mat. Navel to the spine and rest. Go ahead, open up your knees out and gently press them. Inhale, reach over the head. And exhale, bring your hands down. We're gonna stretch those inner thighs. It's also a great stretch for abdominals. Now we're gonna put all of those together as well. So let's begin by stretching arms over. Right knee in, left knee, both knees. Bring your heels down, knees up, heels suspended. And from here, we're gonna move on to double leg extensions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Point your toes, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And put your head down, knees to chest, beautiful. We're gonna do it again, knee up and down, exhale, knee up and down, both knees up, exhale, shoulder blades over the mat, down, knees to chest, keep your toes suspended, double leg extensions, you can take a moment and hold the position and then keep going, right leg, left leg, inhale and exhale. Keep pressing navel down toward the spine. Breath in and out, and in and out. You wanna control your breath and rest up. Well done. Let's move on to glutes exercise. We'll begin in a bridge position. And we're gonna lift up our hips over the mat. Open knees out and in, and then come back down. Couple more times. Hips up, legs out, in, and down. Now make sure your shoulder blades stay on the mat. Feet are shoulders wide apart. And you wanna really engage those glutes on purpose. This is a little easier version of this exercise. Obviously, I'm gonna show you how can we make it more challenging? You can support your hips as we move to the second position. And we're gonna bring that leg down, then up, and then slide it off to the side. Go ahead, point your toe, and try maintain the same position. So you're gonna see and feel that the only movement comes from your leg. At any point, you can either come back to the first bridge position with both feet on the mat, or you can place your hands on your hips and support your position. Down and up and out to the side. Beautiful. Now go ahead, curl your left knee to work your opposite elbow and then switch, crisscross. We're gonna inhale on one side and we wanna fully exhale on the other side. This is a great exercise for oblique abs. And I wanna remind you here that you don't wanna cross your fingers on your head. You wanna bring your fingertips to your ears and this way you will be able to rotate so much more. Beautiful. Take a quick break and then come back to our first position bridge. We're gonna continue challenging our thighs and inner thighs. 
And here, if you happen to have a ball, I will show you how you can use it. You'll be placing it between your knees and instead of moving knees out, you're gonna squeeze the ball. This will challenge your inner thighs. You can do exactly the same with yoga block. If you don't have a ball, just continue with the first version where you're gonna open and close your knees. We wanna do at least eight repetitions and as before, I want you really make sure you go with a great range of motion, you control your breath. You wanna really target those glutes, engage them on purpose. Bridge again, level two, go ahead, straight up your other leg up, and then bring your leg down and up, keep your leg straight. Down, up, to the side, and then come back. Try maintain straight lines as you go down or to the side. If you need to support your hips with your hands, go ahead and do so. Control your breath. Maintain great range of motion. We want to do at least eight repetitions. And as before, we're gonna add crisscross now. Fingertips to ears. Let's go with a great rotation, right to left. Inhale and exhale. We continue moving those shoulder blades over the mat. We are imprinting belly button down to the mat. You're gonna see everything on your right or left. That's how far I want you to rotate. Try point your toe as far away from your nose as you can. Your feet will be about 45 to 30 degrees over your mat. Rest up. And again, open up your knees. Let's stretch for a moment. Breath in, arms over the head. And on your exhale, bring your arms down to your inner thighs or curl your knees to chest. Now we're gonna move on to the side position. And we're gonna continue working legs, out thighs and inner thighs. I want you to go all the way up. Keep your toe pointed as you lift up your leg, flex your foot on your way down. Keep your abdominals engaged. Let's focus here on great range of motion. We want to do good number of lifts here, 12 up to 16 if possible, but each time you want to make sure you really did your best to go as high as you can. This exercise is easy. We can do it together. Even if you are watching this video on your phone, you can also do it on your own when you are watching TV and you won't even notice when you do a hundred of those. So that's a great thing. Beautiful. Now flex your foot, turn your toes forward and go with that pulsing movement. Notice our feet are now a little wider than shoulders. Move your leg front and back. Try keep your foot at the same level, pulsing motion again, pulse, 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 eight times. Keep those glutes engaged and then forward and backwards. Good job, do it again, pulse, one, two, three, four, up to eight and then move it forward and back again, maintain the same level. And last one. I'm sure you're now feeling how those muscles were challenged and that's how we're supposed to feel. All right, let's give it a quick stretch. And now we can also use 
feet ball for the next exercise where we just squeeze it with our knees, maintaining this position. So our abdominals are engaged and additionally, we're gonna focus on inner thighs. You can do exactly the same with yoga block. I want you to squeeze this block as hard as you can and always breathe through it. So you're gonna inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You can choose to cross your palms on your chest like so. It's a little more advanced position. You can go ahead, put your fingertips to your ears like we did during crisscross. And eventually, rest up so as like I mentioned you can do exactly the same with yoga block I believe with yoga block you may even get more of this exercise switch position arms cross on the chest breath in and out and third position slightly more advanced Make sure you continue lifting those shoulder blades over the mat. We are almost there, just a few more. Keep going. Beautiful, rest up. Well, obviously we have to switch position now, so go ahead, lie down on your other side. Make sure your whole body is aligned. Point your toe and then flex on your way down. Let's also maintain great range of motion all the way up. We are only interested in that side to side lift. Make sure your leg is not moving forward with this first segment. Twelve to sixteen repetitions would be great. If you can do more, go ahead. Beautiful. Now the second segment, we go again with the pulsing motion. Notice our feet are just a little wider than shoulders. Toes pointed forward and extension forward and back. Pulse again, eight times. Keep your core engaged. You should not see any movement in your body other than your leg moving front and back or up and down. Engage your leg muscles on purpose, forward and back. And one more time, eight times, six, five, four, three, two, one, and forward and back. Good job, and stretch. You can reach over the head, whatever feels good, you deserve it. Now this would be great moment for quick water break. I want to show you this feed ball. It's about one pound and you can incorporate maybe small dumbbell or ball like this just to make your next exercise more challenging. We sit nice and tall. Go ahead, flex your feet, then point a couple more times. Notice back is straight and neck is extension of our spine. Now from here, we're gonna bring every vertebra down at a time. And on our exhale, we are rolling up. Now you can choose to do this exercise with your legs straight or slightly bent. Come back to the first position and then as before, bring every vertebra down. Then move your arms forward. You're gonna follow your arms, follow the ball and reach forward to your toes come back to straight position and again round up your spine on the way down and then on your exhale roll you up repeat this exercise at your own tempo you want to follow your breath 
You don't want to hold your breath. You want to feel that you are really in control of how fast you're going. If legs slightly bent is easier position for you, please choose this one. Follow your arms, then your head, shoulder blades and the rest of your spine. Bend forward, stretch, come back up and do it again. Feel how flexible your spine is. It's your deep layered abs that help you to roll up from the mat. If you are exhaling and you hear your breath, that's even better. It should remind you wind sound or wave sound. Just like that. All right, next position. We also gonna sit on the mat, back straight, bring your arms forward. Roll yourself down again and exhale, roll yourself up, straight up your back, lift up your chest. See if you can bring your arms up and down. Roll it down. As you see, the segment will be slightly more challenging. Shoulders back and away from ears. Bring your arms up and let your core to stabilize this position for you. On your exhale, roll yourself up. Take a moment to fix your form. Straight up your right leg. Bring your arms up and then come back down. See if you can do the same thing on the opposite side. Find your balance first. Stabilize your core. Extend your left leg. Bring your arms up. Come back down. Do you feel how your core is working? Those deep layer abs, they have no rest here. Right leg again. And now try to keep your legs suspended as you are rolling down and then up. Yes. That's how we are taking this exercise to the next level. Do best you can. And if it's too much, just do the previous version. Beautiful. Go ahead, switch leg. Every vertebra down at a time on your exhale. Roll yourself up. It's a little bit harder for those abdominals to stabilize this position. Keep on going. Every vertebra down on your exhale. Roll yourself up. And one more time. Down on your exhale. Roll it up. Very good. Come back to our starting position and see if you can move your feet over the mat. Very important that our spine is straight, chest lifted. Now you can hold your legs or you can bring your arms forward. I will show you some other options. You can choose to straight up your legs and hold your legs just like that. Then you're gonna let one arm go. It's a very challenging position. It's a great exercise. Now the most challenging version is bringing both arms up. You wanna be able to maintain your back straight. Good job. Now go ahead, put your feet against each other. That's a butterfly. And then gently, you can gently push against your knees to bring them closer to the mat. Eventually, move your arms forward, drop your head down. Give yourself a quick stretch. Cat and camel is another great exercise that's going to stretch out those abdominals. We've been working pretty hard and we owe them a good stretch. Feel free to hold each position for 3 to 5 seconds or even longer. You want to exhale as you are rounding up your spine and then you take a breath in. 
Try and look at the ceiling and see what's above you. Next, come back to neutral spine position, extend your left leg back and just pulse. Then you can extend the opposite arm forward and we can also choose to use ball for this one or very light dumbbell, not more than 3 pounds. Engage your core, knee to elbow and extension forward, exhale knee to elbow, extension forward knee to elbow feel free to round up your spine here round it up and then come back to neutral spine engage those glutes once more and again cat and camel point your tailbone back and up don't forget about your breathing we're gonna switch leg it's now the opposite arm and again you can use the ball for support or you can pick it up if you are using feet ball, it's not going to make it more challenging. I think it's just more fun. As your muscles, your back muscles are getting stronger, you can definitely use feet ball. Knee to elbow and extension forward. Knee to elbow and reach. Knee to elbow, reach once more. Exhale and inhale. Very good. And stretch. Plank position with knees down if we want to make it easier. Now we're going to begin by tapping palms side to side like so. If you keep your knees on a mat, you'll be doing exactly the same with your knees support. Then go ahead, start curling your knees forward, climb a mountain. This one is more dynamic exercise, let your breathing be also faster. Neck extension of the spine, elbows down, hold that plank. And now drop your knees down and up eight times, right and left, right and left. Keep those knees light. We only tap the mat. Both knees, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Squeeze those glutes. Couple more. All right. And hold it. Good job. Now that was a challenging segment and guess what? We're going to do another one which is slightly different. I want you to stick with me, we are almost there. So again, knees on the mat and this time you're going to be reaching to the opposite shoulder or full plank position. And tie your body align. Control your breath. Go ahead, curl those knees to the opposite elbow now. Make it fast, dynamic and let your breath follow. You're doing great. Elbows down, forearms on the mat, tap your toes side to side. Keep your foot light, maybe even suspend it. Right, you can go one inch above the mat with your toe taps. Now extensions, up and down, one leg at a time. Notice we're not going very far with those extensions, just a little bit. And rest up, child pose. Check on your breath. Breath in and out. Beautiful. Come back to plank position. 
and continue crossing your palms to elbows, then two knees forward. Keep going. So palm to the opposite shoulder or elbow and two knee curls. Keep going. This will also be pretty intensive segment. Knees to the mat, elbow plank and come back up. Now you can do the same one without your knee support. I want you to choose whichever you feel is giving you a better workout and you are able to maintain your body aligned. And we are done with this. Knees on the mat, point your tailbone back and up, stretch. This last segment will be stretch and relaxation. Go ahead, sit on a mat and cross your legs. Roll those shoulders back and then lift up your chest, lift up your chin, look what's above you. Then drop your head down. And come back up, bend to the side. Look what's above you, you're gonna bring the elbow all the way up next to ear and above our ear. Then switch side and as before, make sure you really feel the stretch. Breathe and direct your breath to this side of your body. Then extend your right arm up and put your palm back on your shoulder blades. Try connect your fingertips together. Just like that. Now you may find that there's gonna be a big difference between how the stretch feels on one side compared to the other one. Don't worry about it. And just twist. Try to see what's on your side or even behind you. Keep those shoulders back and away from ears. And then we're gonna switch side. You're gonna extend your other arm and try your best to connect your fingertips together. Once you know that's the best you can do, Lift up your chest and breathe. With your inhale, I want you to feel how your chest expands and the stretch gets slightly more challenging. On your exhale, follow up with twist again. Breath in and out, shoulders away from ears. Go ahead, open up your right leg, flex your foot, and again, stretch it to the side. This one is great for inner thighs. And I know you agree, inner thighs get a lot from this workout. Go ahead, switch leg, open up your leg, flex and point your toe, and then reach towards your toes. Hold that stretch. Now you can use yoga block or ball for the next one. We're gonna do split and just hold this position for a moment before you go all the way down here. Now possibly try don't bend your knees. And if that means that you will only bring your hands to the mat, that's okay. I'm sure you're gonna feel how those muscles attached to your knees get stretched and longer and that's exactly what we want from this stretch we're gonna open up those hips thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope you were challenged and i would love to hear from you let me know in the comments 
What other workouts you would like to see on my channel?